to survive. Oh, fant oh, sure. Yeah, okay. alright. Well, I'll survive by watching my own thing. Thank you very much. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, we're gonna go through this whole thing in... So... Sody, Sody, so! Analysis time. Unfortunately, I can't edit this any more than how it is right now because I am away for half a week and then I'm moving for the other week. So this is the version you get. My apologies. Let's get into things, shall we? <laughs> In the most beautiful, totally not cursed manner imaginable. Listen to the beautiful music of Pikmin 4. Mwah. I love the bit. Welcome to the rescue core. I feel welcome. So, customizable character. Cool. Okay, classic. This will be like your first bulb orb you meet in the main area. Uh, God, what are they called? Are they peckish aristocrats? Is that them? I think it is. There are water geysers just about. What do they do? You, you block them up and do... Oh, I don't know. But there's a baby one. They're just... Uh, they're just... I mean, it's just scaled down, which is kind of disappointing. And even this guy looks kind of smaller, which is fine. Fine. We'll go with it. There's a pellet in the background. You can break a thing. There are rocks to collect. Mamutas are back. Interesting. Thematic, maybe, because they were gone in Pikmin 3. Covered in fur. Lovely. In the playground area, but a different area surrounded by rocks and spectroliths. Okay. I love the giant plants everywhere. Underwater with a new underwater enemy. Mwah. Beautiful. Give me a Picklepedia, man. Inside of someone's actual kitchen. What is that flag in the background? Blue background, white cross. Like, is that like Norway, Denmark? Like, are we in an actual Nordic country? What am I looking at here? I feel like this could actually be something, you know? Anyway, whatever. This is a new type of enemy. I don't even know what it would be. It's like whip tongue-ish, but just like an armadillo sort of thing. I think we killed off the man at legs, though. We'll see. <gasps> Hello! There's a hidden arachnorb in the background. And it's an ice one with its cyan coloration. Maybe? I don't know. Plausibly. Interesting. Did we find out what the crystals were for? It's just one of the currency for one of the quests, I guess. I said this could be a collectathon with loads of different types of collecting. And I was right! So some people pulled out about Ochi that uh, they pointed out that they change in size. They're really small when you meet them here and they get bigger later. Maybe we'll see more of that in a bit. Maybe there's multiple dogs and you've got to collect them and then they'll start small so they're unusable at first. There's Colin, ready for decapitation. Beautiful. The narrator's really having a hard time. Okay. So... They're going for fixing the radio with treasures? Like scavenging, like scraps almost? We do see in the original trailer that they fixed the foot, but I guess now they're also fixing the radio. Maybe there's other parts as well, but uh, interesting. Okay, three Pikmin types, red, blue, yellow, right? It's only ever three at once, I'm pretty sure. Also, though, we're in this area with reds, yellows, and blues already. How quickly does this all roll out? I mean, they're actually Oki's bigger, so maybe this is just an own separate. Why is there a cutscene, though? What's going on? It's not a cutscene. That's why this is just a really close-up camera angle. How? Why is it so close? Mm. That was just an idle animation on Ochi. Yeah? It's so small. Wait, wait, wait! The scale's wrong. They're, okay, about the same size as us. They are still small. It is still young days. And then, yeah, okay, it's only a little bit bigger. But it's not, it's not rideable yet. We have the original three and Ochi's tiny. Do, do they shrink? Pellets that change colors in the background, blue and yellow. And it probably started red, didn't it? No, okay. Oh, it started red, there you go. All three primary colors. Together. Together. Ochi running ahead consistently on this. Okay. I don't know if I want to say this is the first castaway, but... Okay, so we have a tiny number in the corner that is hidden behind the YouTube bar and my design, which just says zero out of ten, I think. That's the new Pikmin hut? They've gone for minimal. The daytime is no longer along the whole top, which is interesting. And then you have, yeah, you have our character and Ochi. Two health bars. Why? Are there more later? Do we get to, like, hire the, the Min character we see later? 
The pellets are still growing in the background because it's early days. Some red treasure in the background. Okay, bulb orb, baby bulb orb in the background, dwarf. And I think that's just other environmental stuff in the other background. Onion is already, because it's already the three primary colors. Keep an eye on the colors of the onions if we ever catch any more footage. Because this could easily be a later game that they then have just recreated like an early day. It doesn't say the number of the day here, but that could be a trailer thing that they've like removed. Lovely. You whistle. Actually, how does the whistle work? Same as Pikmin 3. Okay, that's cool. And then yeah, there's three in the corner. When you only have two, you should, they both are the same on either side. So that says red and blue and red until yellow kicks in. And it counts for you. That's nice. Follow you. Yeah, get following, buddy. Exactly midday. Does it ever change? It might be an early design thing. Okay, slightly. All right, there is a fiery blowhog in the background. Another geyser type. We've seen water and like air, and I don't think that's a cave. Crystals. What on ah. earth are the crystals for? Oh, nice. We have the uh, the spicy sprays. Did we know they were back? Well, we do now. Fantastic. This collectible is everywhere. Giant bulb orb in the background. A bag you can push to make direct, like uh, reach the next area. Onion is still red and blue. Um, With just red Pikmin around, but maybe it's a future day. Sure, we'll just keep going by that theory. What if you find the onion and it immediately gives you all three types? Could you imagine? I mean, could you handle that? You probably could. Like, new people could handle all three all at once, right? Oh, that'd be very interesting. So you immediately get three and then you discover five rather than discovering eight. That is a lot to discover in one video, in one game, you know? There's another bag you can climb up. Yeah, okay, there's the original, original thing. Huh? Okay, so we can see the, the time mechanism in the background and the big bulb orb. There's an onion looking thing in the distance over here. Can you see that? Oh, uh, you can't, it's, he oh, you can. This tiny little notch here. That's a, what is that? What color is that? Where do glow pikmin come from? The, just the mounds in the nighttime? Because that looks glow pikmin colored to me. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm colorblind. I'm not built for this. That is a green onion, I think. Okay, it's probably glow pikmin. They're, not, they're green. Okay, they get an idle animation of sneezing as well. The temporal mechanism. Ice pikmin this time. Ice, red, and yellow. Okay, interesting. And ochi. Right. Okay, look at this. Inside someone's actual house. This game is just home alone again, but we are the criminals. Um, so, pots and plants that you can break with Ochi. Three Pikmin, ice, yellow, red this time. Some sort of thing you can get on another pedestal over there. This is good. This is great. This is Chibi Robo vibes. I can finally relive Chibi Robo stuff. Um, what is that I'm seeing in the distance? Like It's like a disco ball or a... Spiny cherry. I don't know what I'm looking at. All collectibles. All very fun. It's a rebrand, but I can appreciate it. Also, the shadows on the Pikmin. Is this another ice onion? Or is this uh, just ice? What am I looking at? Everything's so blurry, man. I'm so bad at this. Also, also, okay. There's a tomato in the sink. Lovely. This is a platform that floats you up. Look at this. It's got propellers floating upwards. Never seen that before. Okay. And also, fire. There's a little bit of fire around the hob here. Nice. Environmental elements. Nice. This is a treasure of sponge. Because it's bright yellow, I guess. Are all fruits red and all <laughs> treasures yellow? Is that like going to be a color palette thing? Big old cave opening here in a sandy area. Okay. With the, uh, the same spitty water guys from Pikmin 3. I should have memorized the enemy names, man. I don't remember. Will you stream the demo on the 28th? Oh, it's the 28th. Or are you busy? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? So probably, yeah, I will do. We've got a, uh, I want to call Blastoise. A Bloister. Bloister on the left. Classic. Uh, it's warping in the background there, but there's something you can collect. Another type of plant and a blue thing in the super distance. And whatever the hell this thing is. Is that a frog? Is that a wallyhop? And a hole 
insinuating either a crawmad or uh, a bread bug, which would be lovely. Lovely. There you go. Okay, there's the. La <laughs> Thank you, narrator. Thanks for giving this to us. So there's a landing spot that we have. Again, made out of crystals. More crystals, pellets. Lovely. Red, iced, yellow. Okay, I haven't seen these clips now. I started looking the first time down here. So. Okay, there's a pile of leaves back here that I feel like you can interact with somehow. You can kill a bulb ball with Ochi if you're good enough. There's another landing spot here next to a pumpkin. This is a bridge you can weigh down. Nice. I don't think we've seen a weigh downy kind of um, environmental thing much. Other than like scales. Something else is going on over here, but I can't tell what's going on. Oh, it's a cave. Might be a cave. Cool. Thank you, Ochi, for doing your bit. Don't die, but I guess you can recover. Oh yeah, his thing shakes. His 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 icon here was shaking. Look at this. Oh Ochi, don't get hit six times, please. Game Boy Classic, nice. Not quite the one I started with. I started with an advance, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, so this fixes the radar. Why are we after a radar to send out our own SOS signal? Because we crashed? It's not fixable? It's only SOS based? Are we going to be saved by Olimar in a twist of fate and this Ollie Min character is someone else entirely? Thank you, stream. I appreciate you cutting off me like that. Yeah, like, what's the purpose of the radar? It must be able to do something. And also, it's already fixed. So, it's not about fixing the radar every time. It's finding treasures that can be used to build something. In the past, it was a foot. This time, it's a radar. There's probably other things. So we've got a water pellet here. We have a clam clam, a pearly clam clam. Lovely. Uh, a whole collection of ice, some other yellow treasure. A big old view of, I mean, this kind of looks like the sandy version of the forest navel. Remember that? The, that that mission mode, it's got that vibes. They've gone for another one of them. Uh, some sort of geyser treasure at the top here, lovely. I don't know what else I'm looking at. Just a nice JPEG in the background and something blue. That's not an onion. Um. Is that another shell? What is this? Okay, it's fine. I'm just soaking it in. I'm just soaking it in. Well, this one's not new, narrator. We've seen this one in several angles. But hey, there's an electric gate on the left. That's good. Are these other... Am I seeing other Ochis? Like, this looks like a spotty, pale green Ochi to me. God, my eyes, man. They don't work anymore. I'm in my 20s, all right? It's over. <laughs> Okay, I thought that was a human. It is not. <laughs> Armoured cannon beetle. That's good to see. Actually in adult form. Haven't seen that since Pikmin 1. This is totally a prequel to Pikmin 2 and 3. Uh, there's a switch of colours over here, which is fascinating. You can use, like, electrical outlets. Winged Pikmin gate. you got to use winged Pikmin to lift this up, I bet. Or knock it over with rocks. Uh, more collectibles in a button on the remote. Okay, interesting. It's, it just lifts up that. That'll be kind of disappointing, but that's fine. Uh, a fan um, treasure kind of reminds me of the one claspy thing that you can get in Pikmin 2. Okay, so this is not a clapper thing. That thing we saw before was in the same, was a, what I thought it was a clapper. It's just a fan that was turned off. Uh, crystals behind the pillows, a drawing on the floor. There's a child in this household. Okay, interesting. More crystals, more pillowing things, maybe more gold. Oh god, I like that the camera's got like a real focal length, so it's kind of mimicking real things that it blurs in the background, but... Ah oh, man, do we... <laughs> it doesn't help with the analysis side of things. It's cool. And they're different. There's another one in the background, but it's got eight ice. holes instead of four. Okay, Ochi, red, yellow, ice. Nice. Baseball treasure. So I was disappointed that this was the night mode now, but it's not, which is lovely. So what do we have? We have bulb orbs. We have random fire geysers like the classic. Are these native Pikmin? Can you find native Pikmin underground? That'd be very cool. Big pipe. There's something in it. I can't see what it is. That guy's sleeping in the fire practically. And random bars. How do you get through the bars? Interesting. The guys is also so much more wider and thicker. That's so lovely. Why is it like going into a hole like Pikmin 2? Because that's exactly what it is. It's caves. Caves are back. Okay. Wow. I missed all of this. A 10 box. Several of the bounce mushrooms from Pikmin 3. Fans to fly you around. 
big buttons like the Pikmin 3 mission mode. I think that might be gold in the corner. It's like mission mode. Is this mission mode? No, they just introduced this as a cave system. There's a roller coaster cart you can go down. Oh, Very cool. I love this music. <laughs> Could be winged, yeah. Okay, so red, ice, ochi, and yellows. Go on a geyser. <laughs> Sounds like the opening to a joke. Geyser just travels you up. There's crystals. Something up there. It looks like a treasure, unless it's a Gatling Groink. Please no. Another, okay, the, the other cave exit is over here. Um, good, that's not an emergency. You land through the pod, okay. I'm liking how they're reusing old assets. This is really nice. This is a tiny sub-level. This is a... This feels like a lot of wasted space. Like, like you've got this little corner here, this just loops back, and then you've got the exit there and a treasure there. There is maybe more here? This makes me think this could be randomized. Like, all of this empty space has nothing. Unless, like, they just beat it already. Then pots, and then maybe a little more? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Giant Wally Hop! How did I not notice how huge this is? My god! Okay. So, aquarium design. They're on a fake little aquarium thing with a PNG of background water. That's very cool. You've invaded a shop. I love that. Big thing in the middle. I guess you're waking up the boss fight. Blue, red, ice down here. 20 of each, which is very nice and easy to see. Cool. Yes. Can you dive? You can't dive. Don't die. Okay. Blue candy pop bud. They're back. Lovely. Whoa, is the aquarium actually a cave? I think so, because they they're talking about new areas underground, and that was one of them. It's a boss arena for the Wally Hop, and that's the context. Cool. Love it. That's just a whole cave with, a, with them as the enemy. Sweet. So a cave goes into an aquarium. That's interesting. Did we go through the roof? Like, how does that make sense? An entire grape bunch, no longer individual grapes. It, it's like they are being more efficient on the ability to take things. Like, Pikmin 3 is kind of inefficient with how they're, like, the, the coding as well as the Pikmin, I guess. Just take the whole bunch. Way easier. Also, oh, come on, stream. Don't do this to me. This is where I saw, I started staring down in the bottom right corner. White Pikmin. White Pikmin, blue Pikmin, ice Pikmin. I don't know where the white Pikmin. But he's in there somewhere, apparently. So, there you are. I'm loving these. Okay, what's going on here? Fiery Blowhog. They're holding onto the treasure as it goes up. That's a cool attention to detail. No. No, it's a web. Never mind. It's a web. I thought that was a... Never mind. Okay, cool. Weigh things down with yellow Pikmin that have the height. Very sweet. Very cool. Grab yourself a bento box or a sandal or a brush? I don't know exactly what that is. What is that in the background growing? That's just more area. I don't know if you can really see it. And neither can I. There was another blowhog of some sort. Okay. Why? So stowaways, I think, are still actual collectibles with no identity because we saw earlier Colin with his face visor. Like his face was just visible. So this is different. This is like currency. Stowaways on the rescue call mission. Oh, hi. I don't get a single moment to drink my drink, do I? Uh, that's cool. No, how do you do that? How do you do this pattern? Unless Ochi can jump, you have to need multiple captains to throw. Or I guess you just throw right from there. Big blue blob. Cast away or stow away and then pots. Interesting. Maybe the blob is a crush blat, maybe. That's... What is this? Is it like unfiltered spicy spray but you can't access it until later on or something i don't know okay once you chuck the pikmin on its head you can carry them away with three pikmin okay classic this is a this is also just in game this is just a camera can i choose this camera because i want this camera super cinematic mode you know with like the fuzzing in the background in the, in the edges okay no indication of what day it is but we do have a guy stealing castaways. What does that mean? Also, blue onion, potentially entirely blue. Or this is what we saw before. This is the opening area we saw the first time we saw the uh, the pod in this video. 
and then right once you go up and around it comes to here god i hope i don't get a phone call that could be Ollyman. he's just grown through look look it's his eyes it's his nose it's him who else it's his color palette it's it's his it's his outfit Ollie Min is real and he just he just grew a beard like me and, a, and some hair okay it's fine and he's got his own bulby inside of a cave that has a red lid instead is that story related or difficulty that's the end of the story stuff I think now it goes into co-op I think I wish to retrieve your castaway wait is this the story mode you go in and you have to fight Bingo style in the story? That'd be a cool change of gameplay. Prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Whoa. It, oh, okay. Incredible. This might not actually even need to be two player. You can do it two player. That'd be cool if they integrate it in the story. Weird, but hey, rebrand makes things more interesting, you know? Hopefully the Dandori is also a separate game mode. Yeah. I want both. What? I. That's bad marketing. Bingo Battle works better, to be honest. Dandori. I don't know. I'm not sure people be into it. But oh well, whatever. Try something new. Grow your own Pikmin. Get more treasures. And I guess you get ratings. Yeah, 87.44 up top. They're fighting the green Ochi. They're fighting Bulb. I'm just going to call them Bulby. They're fighting Bulby. Collect more objects. Time limit. They've got the same blue leaves, though. Look at that. They're on the left. They've got the same blue leaves as before, so you can tell whose Pikmin are whose. Do their leaves change color if this is in the story mode, too? It might be just entirely separate. The castaway. And save the castaway. This is part of the story. Okay, that's just how it go. Okay, sweet. Lisa, you can name yourself. Of course you can. Customizable character. You win. You Battle results. Trial run. Okay. So I guess the red cave just goes into that game mode or something? Or you go through the cave and then eventually that's at the bottom. A cool new twist of a game mode. I like it. Okay, so here, I said before, we have five alternatives. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, we got Yoni, we got Colin, we got Shepard, and obviously our character as well. So these are the other, these are the other faces. I just realized we, we, there's only a finite amount of them. Okay, cool. Onion is now yellow and red. Um, I think you find all three at the beginning, maybe. No, I need to find that clip again where you find just the reds. Is it a red only onion? That will confirm that or not. Why are we coming out that hole? What's going on here? Did we just jump out? Or did there someone jump in? Okay, suspicious. They've tactically blurred blue guy over here, huh? Maybe it is Louie. His head's not very beany. But, oh boy, maybe it's a copiot. Maybe it's like Captain Charlie in blue, you know? I don't know. We need to, we need to find out who this guy is because they are <laughs> they are noticeably dropping him out. It's a different design to everyone else. He's not one of them. He's not a Rescue Corps member. He's got a different outfit. He's a copiot or he's a Hockitation. Confirmed. Oh, I love that mystery. Okay, but they won't tell you what he wants. Maybe it's Charlie. No, but he's in... Oh, I don't know, man. Okay, so this guy upgrades your dog. This guy upgrades your, your equipment. This guy upgrades the day. Maybe the night time? Or he upgrades the night time? Interesting. There's our nerdy guy. So yes, different ca uh, different quests for different currency. Where are we then? Are they just at the home base? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Nope, that's someone else. Look at, look at blue guy in the background. What is he? Just somebody else. Another new character. Maybe. Entirely different outfit. Or they're an online friend. And they're their own custom customizable character design. That would be really cool. Like Splatoon style. Uh, what else is there? You can learn a buff. So more damage. Uh, with a strength of 10 Pikmin. Explore. Okay, cool. More chomp is a stronger bite. Learn rush, which is a better rush. Learn doggy paddle. Better to run. So maybe they can't always swim at the start. Interesting. You can learn to jump. So you can do the platforms we saw earlier. Learn to dig learn to heal that's an interesting one maybe that's like how fast they survive once they're dead ochi's pup drive how on earth do you get one of those <laughs> but good to know you can buff ochi over time maybe that grows their size as well 
Okay, wow, that's a lot going on. Build new equipment. Headlamp Plus will build your light with the crystals. Okay, finally. Anti-electrifier suit, anti-electrifier Ochi. Rush boots to run faster. Scorch guard, haven't seen that in a while. Scorch guard for Ochi. Thermal defense. Okay, all your classic, classic upgrades are all here. Or you can make items. Maybe you can use that to like create pellets. That'd be interesting. That's cool. The faster you go, the more you explore. Isn't that right? It'll take you everything you have. They have for Pikmin to keep up with you. And they're running at like the bottom of the house. That's cool. Okay. They don't have enough, but that's fine. Unless it's the other way round. Okay, it's the... What? It costs 120. So why does it say 120 out of 164? You should have done it the other way round. Pikmin, man, their ratio, their fractions. It's so backwards. Consistently. Oh well, it's fine. Yoni. Eager to go out on a night expedition? Are you? Okay, so they folk... Are they joining us? What does that mean? Okay, Onion now has triple colours. Here we go. This would be where we'd see the dolphin, if ever. In the background, here at the top here. Yep, that looks like it to me. I don't know if you can see it. I've got a bit of a crop, but... Bam! If I can get rid of you... Oh, God, you, you guys have the worst design, like layout. Uh, if I grab the display capture... There it is. Ignore my background. Totally irrelevant. That looks, that looks pretty suspicious to me. That looks like, that looks like the dolphin too, from Hey Pikmin. Like a mice, that looks like a whole body of stuff, you know? Huh. Dang, I didn't even see that one. Oh, is that not the one you were referring to? That's where it's crashed. Creative Sushi was right. Look at that. Look at that. Please ignore Link in the background. It's irrelevant to anything else I'm never going to do. That's interesting, eh? Ooh, yo. Why did I turn into Wario? Okay, let's turn this back. Sorry. Also, it looks lovely. Look at the sunset. Mwah, beautiful. So much info. I know, right? And we just saw. We just confirmed it. That's the dolphin. Olimar is dead. He is now... Not Puffman, he is a uh, Fluffman. He is a Fluffman, you know? <laughs> Fluffy, Fluffy Ma, Ollie Fluff, something like that. But there's a catch to night mode. Let's talk about it. A castaway is interested in it. One of the rescue corps. Does he join you? Or does he just do quests related to it? Electric gate, droppable bag. Is it the same place? It's the same place. Can you go to a cave at night time? Does that affect things? Does time pass in the caves this time around? Also, we have bulbulb lava at the bottom, but like actual bulbulb lava with feet slightly more grown. Because dwarf bulbulbs are not bulbulbs. They are bread bugs pretending to be bulbulbs to be protected by a motherly character. Those are actual bulbulbs. They only come out at night. Plasm Wraith, I don't think we've seen yet. Look at that. Actual baby dwarf bulbulb. What are you angry about? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Because it's nighttime or because you've spotted us? Is it like, um, is it like the race? Okay, what's going on here? So this is, uh, Starbits. This is where the glow Pikmin come from. I always knew every single Pikmin 4 leak was wrong because nobody ever spoke about in the leaks these mounds. They are everywhere in the first trailer for the nighttime shots. Nobody clarified what they are. I knew they were all fake because of that. So the mounds just appear at night time? Why is there a beam of light? You come across the new glow Beautiful. They look like the ghost Pikmin from the Pikmin 3 concept art. They do! You are right. They are the ghost Pikmin. It works. It's oh mwah. I never thought it would be a, like a winged Pikmin spin. It's kind of Luigi's Mansion, but it's fine. It's fine, you know? Nice. Yay! I love it. We've always wanted, like, I thought there'd be cyan with mushrooms. We talked about glowy cyan Pikmin before. Who would have thought they were green? Orange? Green. Green. Fine. Orange? Luminous. The produce valuable glow sap. Okay, so they make glow sap. You, I guess, activate them with that light beam, maybe, or something? Interesting. 
and they attra and that's what attracts the monsters. You like activate it and you go into defense mode. I see. Ah, oh, look at it. So there's only glow Pikmin here. You've got a health bar at the top for your glow stack. There's other glow stacks you can go to and uh, something ominous in the corner here. Okay. So it's like you 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 want the sap. You got to defend it if you want it at night time. It's another currency. I like it. Another mound in the background. Nice. Okay, also this guy comes back. I mean, they were around in Pikmin 3, so I guess that's a given. You get a whole good chunk of the map here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Red dots. Are they the enemies? Every red dot on this is an enemy in what direction they're facing. But there's not one of this guy. Interesting, but okay. We've almost gone into like super night. I guess this is like sunset mode of be aware because we have the same thing on the daytime timer. They, they charge in to a glow... And then you chuck them all at once and explode. That's so interesting. It's kind of like the Ice Pikmin's new ability that they freeze after a, like a timer. I love the, the variety. And yeah, this is the same elephant spot as before. You can see the elephant uh, slide in the background. Okay, so here we go. This is where I saw, I looked at none of the footage and all of the Pikmin colors in the corner, okay? So. Here we have yellows, blues, Ochi, but also the reds. There's one always missing because Ochi's in the bloody way, which is annoying. You just switch to Ochi like a Pikmin. Uh, Spectralid on the pellets. This is a kid's playground with the flowers. Uh, what was that? 15 on the left. 15. Ah, oh, that's just the crystals. That's fine. Okay, now we have ice Pikmin, yellow Pikmin, red Pikmin for the giant wheel and a bridge. And that's it. Midday. Perfect. Now we have, bam, there they are, purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin, ice Pikmin, yellow Pikmin. A little bit of gold on the beach, a little bit of spicy spray pellets, a very good time. What is that? A little blue shard behind a leaf, or like clipping into the leaf. And more of that big blue blob, or a, or a blue onion. I don't know, Wait. I don't know. I'm starting to think you, you start with all three primary colors now, and then you find the rest. Okay, uh, is that a like a musical box thing or like like a I don't know winged Pikmin there we go This is rock Pikmin winged Pikmin and blue Pikmin. Do you need winged Pikmin to use the fans? I imagine it's just Ochi in general wing. They're not lifting him up like a like a cool Okay, so you dive Ochi does it beautiful new angle of this same house. Okay Electrical unit you can deal with Red, yellow, and blue buttons. So I guess you have to... Why? Is it a, is it a gate? Oh, it's a, it's a safe. Oh, that's cool. Random tiny pots at the bottom of the stairs and random berries growing. Oh, like spicy sprays. I mean, I guess they've got a plate on it, so it kind of makes sense. Bit of an odd choice. You can collect the calculator. I love it. Has the kid made a design of a game design for it? Is this... Have we walked into Miyamoto's... Room. Are we invading Miyamoto's childhood house or something? He's designing the world of Pikmin as we go. What is this meta commentary? Okay, this is the very start of the night. They've immediately gone to a mound right in front of you. Uh, then there is another mound here. Loads of sparkles for whatever the hell they're for. Do they go anywhere? Yes! Oh! The star bits are put into the mound and that's what creates the sap. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Right, so that's what you are harvesting in the night. I see. The glow Pikmin flowers and buds look different. They do. I did see that. I just didn't comment on it for some reason. I didn't notice it enough. Um, yeah, cool. Nice. I like it. I'd love to see like a bingo battle mode for the night mode. You know, I think that'd be very cool to have. I don't know exactly how it would work, but like to see just this being used. Who can collect the most? Oh man, I gotta make a roulette version. I'm gonna play this game and do like challenge mode. Like I gotta do extinction every day and every night. I guess you usually have that with every night. I wanna do all sorts of things. Doing a bingo battle where who can collect the most things on a night time. That sounds good fun. I'll collab with future Pikmin creators in the future, which will be lovely. There's also big pots in the background, so you still need Ochi. There was one that appeared at the top here, a Pikmin. Oh, it just fell from the top. So they go in, they put a stubbit in, they pop out the top. Lovely. Hello, new scorpion. We have rock Pikmin, ice Pikmin, red Pikmin. You can only have three Pikmin at a time. I don't see any others on Ochi's back. A new scorpion enemy, kind of like an armored cannon beetle. I imagine it's, you th it throws stuff from the top, kind of like the mere slug. 
ice again. So this is a boss from the possibly sandy area. I mean, it's all sandy, obviously. Tropical and sunsetty. Dodge the bite and attack the fuzzy underbelly or the the tail. Very sweet. Uh, what am I looking at there? Is that a pathway? Something else blue. Why is there always something blurry and blue in the background? W direct. Uh, a W direct. Yes, minus the random anime farming simulator in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Important question, are you going to play it when it comes out? Yes, uh, I'll, I'll do the announcement now. On the day it comes out, the 21st of July, I'm going to stream it first thing in the morning, UK time, and I will not finish streaming until the game has been completed 100%. I'm doing a one session stream of all of Pikmin 4. I'm then going to stream it the day after, and the day after, and the day after. I have nine days available, not even that, I have seven days available from when... Pikmin comes out and August starts and in August I'm gone for the entire month so I'm gonna do like seven streams of all sorts of things we're gonna play it all the way through 100% we're gonna do challenges like extinction every day Pikmin roulette where it gives me a random challenge I have to do each day I'd love to collab with other Pikmin creators if I can do it in time to do like bingo battle with gameplay mechanics and speed running through the game and all sorts of stuff constantly there'll be an output of stuff for that week like crazy then a little bit of slower stuff from the streams going out over august and then september is the big release i'm gonna do all sorts of pikmin things all sorts of collabs with other pikmin creators if they will have me and oh it's gonna do a million things and that'll be the plan so uh yeah i'll, I'll play it i'll probably stream it day one who knows okay giant moth enemy i love this uh, it reminds me of another pikmin uh, fanatic creator off in the internet sphere, which is very nice. Um, Ochi, Red Pikmin, Rock Pikmin. Not even a third Pikmin type. Interesting. This is in a cave somewhere. Icy. This is much. I guess you need ice. Why is the screen going icy? Is that them? Yeah, I guess so. <gasps> oh, they f they have a freeze hazard. There's a giant. The the plot thickens. Okay. Ice hazard. Doesn't kill them straight away, but I guess freezes them. Makes sense. Another blob in the background. This time a little bit icier. Interesting. Okay. It's the shower room. It is. It's the tiles. Ah. Oh. The shower room was always a nightmare, but you know, it's, it's <laughs> memories. Okay, you build a bridge. It is more efficiently structured. I think so. Like the animation for it is more efficient than it was in the past. So that's cool. Again now, red, yellow, ice. I really think you find the primaries. Maybe. Okay, then we have daytime. Again with this little uh, design of a flannel or whatever it's called. It's not a flag anymore, but it'd be cool if it was an insinuation that it's like Norway or Denmark or like something sort of Scandinavian. Multiple tomatoes in the sink. Ice. Uh, ice. Egg. Nectar. White Pikmin. Blue Pikmin. Winged Pikmin. Oh. Never thought you'd see a crowd like that. This is demonstrably the the collection of everybody. You got a little bit of Pikmin 1 with blues, a little bit of Pikmin 2 with the white, a little bit of Pikmin 3 with the winged, and now you got Ochi in the middle for Pikmin 4. Beautiful. Hey, Pikmin is not canon and we do not accept it. <laughs> Even if it is the Dolphin 2 in the background. Big sponge treasure. There's a sponge, right? Nice. Crystals are back. They look different, but it's more... Efficient. Let's just say it's efficient. It looks worse than Pikmin 3, but it's efficient. Sure, sure, sure. Opens up a cave. Okay. Or oh, the cave exit. Okay, what is this damn blob? I don't know what is going on here. But oh well, there's another uh, bloister. Lovely. Uh, gold mine. Another pipe that you got to get through somehow, like a cage. Maybe the blob is some, like, barrier that Blue Pikmin destroy? Yeah, maybe it's like gel that you can break apart. Because this comes in different colours and you can throw Pikmin to it. That is the design based off of the level design, like where it's up on platforms for what it's for. This is so long. There's so much to cover. This is fantastic. I've been going for an hour and a half, you know? Okay. I still think it's a bit weird that you've just got pellets on the ground on like random plates, but sure. Why is there so much nectar? Because there was loads of eggs. Because there is a boss fight here on our poor kitchen table, on our kitchen floor. Ah, oh, well. I have that! Oh my god, that's me! They're coming to me! I'm literally on one of these right now! I'm the Pikmin guy! I can step on the Pikmin! Yay! I mean, I do have other colours. I've got a white one in the background as well. You can't see it, but it exists. <laughs> I'm generic homeowner. In four. Four. Beautiful stuff. That was so much content. So much to see. 
Clearly a rebrand with the uh, the home design, but also a bit of a twist on the plot. Olima is dead, replaced with Fluffman. Pikmin fans eating good this year? Oh, I agree. If you're a Pikmin fan and you're a Pikmin creator, send me a DM on Twitter and let's make some content together. I'll do everything. I'm back more officially in September, but I'm coming for you all. Let's make some Pikmin content. The community has exploded since the last time it was, you know, relevant. So let's make it a good one, eh? And I'm going to bring it back a bit more in closer to September, but let's make this a proper communal thing. Clip it. If you can do that on YouTube, I don't know what the options are. Send it out there. Let's make this a good damn year for Pikmin fans, shall we? I agree. I, I can't clip very well. Now, do they have anything else that they were showing? Sounds pretty cool. No, no, they didn't have anything else worthwhile to see. <laughs> What's your opinion on the new Pikmin from what we've seen so far? Wow, beautiful. It's not too invasive. It's nice and refreshing. It's not what we expected. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm happy with generally what we've got. I'm not putting too much high hopes in, but actually, I'm kind of getting impressed. I'm a happy boy. The, this game seems to be going for the Pikmin 2 vibe, right? Pikmin 2 expanded Pikmin 1 by expanding the enemy collection and all of the like areas you can go to with the caves. It was caves and enemies. This game, Pikmin 4, seems to be taking the most from Pikmin 2. There are cave systems, there are multiple characters in a sense, sure. I uh, Now there's loads of enemies. I think it could be plausible. There's eggs all over the countertop that you can grab. Oh my god, that's great. What do you think about HD Pikmin 1 and 2 later today? I, is it HD? I feel like it's just a port, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for that too. I won't be playing it because I'm busy, but yeah. Hell yeah, I was wondering if they were going to bring it out, and they did, so I'm very happy. Will the Plasm Wraith evolve again just like it did in the Outer 3 games? I would not be surprised. I wonder if Ollie Moore will be saved and turned back to normal. That's probably the ending, yeah. Maybe he's the villain the whole time. He's the villain, and then you, you purify him. Yeah, Pikmin 1 bad ending. Possibly. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I thought of it myself on top of other people coming up with it because the insinuations were there. But I'm glad I was there too. Are they going to Zelda timeline the Pikmin verse? <laughs> I could see it, to be honest. We definitely need a Piklopedia. I agree. I think we're getting one. Uh, I have seen a little bit from uh, the like uh, some background stuff of how co-op could work, that it could be Mario Galaxy style. Someone controls the reticle and does stuff. Fuzzy Ma. I like that. It's possible that it is an Ollimin, but considering the last trailer, I don't know. I agree. I think it is. We finally got the full rainbow of Pikmin now? Yes, we do. All eight types and a fluff limar min. Jason Lupus, 3D boy, a guy I follow on Twitter, and I, and I think I'm in a Discord or two with him. Uh, they've made like a million different designs of Pikmin. How close are any of their designs to that? I want to see it. They, they have the biggest collection of variety. I'm like, how, how accurate were you? Where'd you, where you? <laughs> Has Nintendo really duped all of us on a design that none of us came up with conceptually? Like, oh, Daz the Bulb Orb is the background's eyes are not glowing. They are, yeah, they only glow when, they are ne when they're near to a mound. They go to a mound, that's where it glows. Because you've activated them and you cause like a defense tower element. The Ollimin, the Ollimin is real. Yes. Notice how we have every Pikmin color we saw at the end of Pikmin 1, except orange. Ooh, Ollie Min is orange, totally. Bingo Battle needs online? Yeah, I think online's the one bit that's going to disappoint all of us, to be honest. Oh well. You streaming the demo? I probably will do. Not if it's out now, but um, yeah. I'll stream it and it comes out next week, the 28th, doesn't it? Hey, Pikmin is canon? Are you sure? Uh, we'll see. Um, Pikmin 1 and 2 are on the eShop already. Yes. Oh, beautiful. I'll get this in a little bit. We need Puffmin from that single boss fight in Pikmin 1, and then we're set. I agree. I wouldn't be surprised if the Pustle does appear again, like that that enemy. Mario and Luigi-esque. Hi. Oh, don't do Hey Mario. Don't make Hey Mario. We Pikmin fans already know what's a bad move. Hayes and highs. We don't like the Hayes and highs. I like how a lot of the things in the game, like Ochi, are taken from the design, but yeah, it's really nice. It's like they're actually making, it's Pikmin Ultimate, you know, like Smash Ultimate. They have all the Pikmin types. Other than Puffmin and Boldmin, there's still a chance though. I think something could be coming together, you know?